Um, my name is Andy Schweitzer and I'm here to kind of give you a little short video on how you go about stirring things while you're lab and some of the devices and some of the safety things involved. Um, first things first, and you know you're cooking at home, you might be at stir food or stir things. In chemistry, we want a uh, chemical reaction to, to occur. Uh, very often we can stir it you know, as a means of um, bre breaking it apart or speeding up a, a re process. Um, or maybe if you're heating it from below to more evenly distribute the heat throughout the, 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 the substance. Uh, otherwise, you know, that's the main reason why we would stir something. Um, so our basic device used for stirring is called a stir rod. Um, a stir rod is simple piece of glass, you know, about yay big, um, and we just simply use it to stir things with. No big deal. Uh, a couple of things that I'm going to point out about this uh, device is this, is that if we leave a stir rod um, or in a beaker, this is one place where someone comes along and tips, catches it and tips it over, um, and that uh, can be an opportunity for a mistake to occur, uh, it's a danger point. So be aware and try not to leave um, a a, a stir rod in a beaker. Another common thing we might use to stir something with a bee would be a thermo, uh, thermometer. Again, we could stir with it potentially, um, not against the rule, go ahead. But again, left in there, or even just left to, to measure the temperature can cause a tipping problem here. Um, other things we would maybe use a, a stir rod for um, would be to pour one device into another one. Sometimes you very um, gently want to pour one thing into another thing. In, in that case, you might pour um, down a stir bar where the, the liquid will uh, naturally adhere to the, to a stir bar, and you build a very gently drop it into a substance. Um, I may dip a stir bar into a substance in order to test the pH. Let's say you want to just take a little poke of it out, touch it to some litmus paper, and you could test it that way. Okay, so stir bars are very useful. Uh, they break easily. You drop them, they break. They're not hugely expensive. If they does break, just let me know and we can get it cleaned up. That's, that's the main, main issue. Uh, a more fancy way to stir something would be what was called a stir plate. This is a stir plate. All it is is a magnet inside here with or a piece of metal, I would say. Um, hooked to a simple electric motor with a little rheostat in the front that just turns this piece of metal around. What we do at this point then I have this, I have it poked into the all back there. Is I set a um, magnet on top and it will go flying. But um, given the opportunity, it will just simply turn around and around and around. And this may seem strange, a lot of people are quite, it's quite cool. But um, take this, put it into a beaker with some water, and it will stir it. This is referred to as stir plate. There are plates that also will heat it and stir, stir or the stir function at the same time. This is simply one that just stirs. Um, this is often referred to as a pill. Okay. If you have a liquid in here, you can use what's called a wand to take out the, the pill. Um, one more common thing for someone to do would be to pour the pill down the drain gets caught in a little pea trap, easy to remove if I know it's there. But um, that's about it. So that's just different ways of stirring, um, stirring our liquids. Thank you.